welcome to my channel the inspiring school counselor i hope you guys are having a great day today um we are getting ready to get into how to create your virtual school counseling office from ground up using google classrooms so if you all are interested keep on watching if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe and also make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that i upload a video okay you all let's get right into it all right, you all, so the first thing that you wanna make sure that you do is that you are signed into your Google, your Gmail. And so with that being said, um, go ahead and do that if you have not already. As you guys can see, I'm already signed in. And so once you have done that, all you need to do is just click on these dots right here. That is your Google Apps. And once you click on that, you're just gonna go down to Slides. And you're gonna click that. Now, once you have clicked slides, the next thing that you wanna make sure that you do is to hit the, click on the blank template. All right, because we just need to make sure that we're starting on a blank canvas. So, after you have clicked on that blank canvas, you're just gonna highlight that text box and you wanna delete those because we don't want anything on our background. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna be working on is adding a background to this. And so there's two ways that you're gonna be able to do that. And I'm gonna show you both of those ways. So the first way that I'm gonna show you is within the Google slide, all you're gonna to have to do is hit background. And then after that, you're gonna do choose the image. As you can see, there are many options that you can choose to Put up your background um, upload is if you already have a picture of a background that you want to use so maybe you took a picture of your classroom and so you're wanting to use that and put that in there you can do that um, camera this is mainly if you have like I guess like a webcam or maybe you're uploading it doing this from your phone you can do it that way you have by URL you have uh, photos, if you wanted to upload a photo that you already have, Google Drive, then you have Google Image Search. We are going to click on Google Image Search. And from here, you wanna put wall and floor background. And as you can see, once you have put that in the search bar it has generated a lot of backgrounds that you can choose from okay so that is one of the ways that you can do it you can start from a total blank uh, uh, background to a, a background that has an image already in it is up to you so all you have to do is just hit the image and click insert at the bottom I don't know if you guys can see that on mine and hit done and there you go so there's many ways that you can do that it's absolutely up to you so the other way I want to show you all is you can actually look for images background images on Google so you just want to open up another tab and you can search wall and floor backgrounds now you can type that in or if you've already done it just hit that and I like to hit on images so that I can see all of them. And as you guys can see, there are numerous of images that you can choose from. And that's what I really love using uh, going through Google um, instead of inside the, uh, the Google Slides. So you have plenty of options green white textured more of a living room type of look that you're going for the options are endless so maybe you want to start from a, a blank canvas and you might come across let's say we want to choose um, you don't want to choose an image like this obviously because it has words and stuff on it so you don't want to do anything like that you want to look for an image that is going to be Compatible and good. So this is a nice size image. 
And you also want to make sure that your image is big. You don't want to go with a small image because it's not going to look good. It's going to look really grainy when you copy and paste it to your Google Slides. So you just have to right click on your mouse, go down to copy image, go back to your Google Slides. And we're just going to do a new slide so I can show you all. And you're going to copy and paste that in there like this. Okay? Now, as you guys, you probably wonder, oh, my gosh, it has something on the bottom. That is okay. We're going to get rid of that. Keep that box that highlighted, and you're going to go to crop image. And you're going to move those little black lines up right there. And there you go. It's gone. So I'm going to put this in the corner and I'm going to drag it to the end and I'm going to stretch it to the side. And there you go. So those are two ways that you can do that. Now, when it comes down to backgrounds, you can either pick one uh, background that has like a plan or something in it. Or you can start from a blank canvas and already have a um, and add in your own plants and stuff in there. Um, and maybe you're one that you're not really into the whole decorating and stuff like that. That is okay because you can search virtual classrooms, classroom backgrounds, and look what you're going to come across. Now, you're not going to want to pick anything that has already words and stuff on it, like Bitemoji Classroom Tutorial. That is not something that's ideal, but and you definitely don't want to choose something that has already a Bitemoji in it and it doesn't look like you. <laughs> but what you can do is find images like this that kind of has a already look to it and it's blank. It does not have a lot going on. And I actually like this one. Now, this is a little small, but I'm going to see how it shows up. And if it doesn't show up good, we're going to add. And if it doesn't show up good, we're just going to pick another one. Put it on the edge. Stretch it out. Oops. I don't know if you all can tell, but from the way I'm looking at it, it does look a little blurry. So this is something that I don't want to use. So you do want to watch out for that. So I'm actually going to delete that and I'm just going to go back here. And I'm going to try, oh, wow. Somebody could use this if they want, if y'all wanted to. Maybe you are a school counselor that has like a, a play, do play therapy. That could be something that you can do. Wow, look at those. So they have options. I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. That's a little small too, but it's a lot bigger than the other one. I'm going to crop it. There you go. So now we're going to insert our furniture and we're going to just start with this one right here since it's blank um, as far as not having anything on it. So we're going to go to insert image and search the web. Unless you all have photos or something in your drive that you want to use, you can always do that or you can just go to search the web. And I want to add in... A whiteboard so I'm gonna look for my whiteboard transparent background that's the one I'm going to use and we're gonna hit insert and there you go all right so you can make it as big as you want as small as you want as skinny as you want it to be or as wide as you want it to be it's absolutely up to you we're gonna put it on there like that Okay, and maybe you want to add on your whiteboard. We're going to hit the text box. We're going to put the text box on top of the whiteboard, and we might want to just put welcome to Miss Bird's counseling office or classrooms up to you. 
I can't spell today, you all. <laughs> okay. After you've done that, you can kind of play around with your colors and your fun if you want to. It's absolutely up to you all. Okay. So now you might also want to add in a rug. Maybe that's something that you want to put into your um, your slide. So you can go to insert, do the same thing, image, search the web, and you can do search rugs that way. And it will generate some rugs for you. Okay. Or you could do it the other way. You could do it both ways, you all, when you're trying to find furniture and stuff. Um, you can find a rug in here. Now, you don't want to go with any, which actually you really can if you wanted to. But you want to try to find a rug. Ooh, I like this one. This is a nice rug. And I'm going to show you all. So you might look at this like, man, I can't use it because it has a background. That is okay because I'm going to show you all how you can remove your background for free. So I'm going to make this small. And these are images I've already used. But all you have to do is just drag your image to your desktop. Then I want you guys to go to remove.bg. Uh, I think that's a forward slash upload. Okay, now this will remove the background for free, you all. And that's what I really love. Somebody actually told me about this and I was like, I'm so using it for my Google Classroom. And all you need to do is just drag that image. I got the image from over here. You're gonna drag it onto the website. They are going to work on removing it and look what they did. All you need to do is download it Once it's done downloading, just drag it from wherever it downloaded, or maybe you don't have to, you can just but drag it to your desktop and then drag it to your Google slide. And there you go. It put it right in there for us. And so as you can see, my rug is a little bit big, so we're gonna kinda, oops, clicked on the wrong thing we are going to make that small there you go so you can kind of play around with the side size of it there you go you can make it as long as you would like oh you are i'm just making it let me backward there we go you can make it as long as you like or as wide as you like it to be There you go. So now I have added my rug. Now you might want to add in, let's just say chairs and stuff. So let's say you want to add in a table. So maybe a kid, kid desk. I'm gonna just put in kid desk images. And let's see, we want to go with You can go with this one. I'm going to do the same thing. Drag the image. Go to that same website. Drag the image there. And look, it removed it. Download it. Once it's done, go to your downloads. Or you can drag it, if you can, to your desktop. Oops. And there you go. Now, my things aren't going to match as good, you all, because I'm just wanting to sh give you guys the gist of how to do it. But you see that, what you could do. So definitely you could play around with that. Maybe I'm going to add in a plant there. Hey, I like the way this plant looks. Let's just go ahead and add that in there. And there you go. I'm also gonna show you guys how you can add in your bit emoji. So um, let me show you all how to do that. So all you need to do is go to Google, 
type in bitmoji add in chrome after you do that down uh add the extension now mine says remove from chrome because i already have it up here at the top but download that and then it will put it on your chrome or safari or whatever you're using as you guys can see this green box right here and i want my bit emoji to say hello i like that so i'm going to copy that copy image and i'm going to paste it here there you go so it has me saying hello welcome to my classroom so that is the just let me go ahead and show you all for some of y'all that might not have seen my classroom this is actually how mine ended up turning out so you guys can play around you can find um to, you know decor and different things like that on teachers pay teachers where they're allowing you to download clip art and stuff like that to put in your google classroom or office but this is how mine ended up turning out you all and it was time consuming but i loved every minute of it um i absolutely love decor um i love decorating stuff so i absolutely enjoyed it and so but i just wanted to show you guys the gist of what you could do to kind of create it your google classroom and set up the way that you like and like i said you can be as creative with it starting from a blank canvas or maybe you're one that says you know what i don't have that type of time you can always find already uh classrooms that's made and do it build off of what is already on this slide so i hope that you guys enjoyed this now i'm going to get ready to upload another video that is now going to show you how to put in links so that when your kids click on different things it will lead them kind of like it's a video game it can lead them to what it is that you're wanting to show them okay like i was able to click on this poster and it led me to this positive affirmations for uh, kids so if you're interested i am going to be uploading that soon so stay tuned for that so I hope you all enjoyed this little walkthrough as far as showing you all how to work Google Slides and how to put in your virtual classroom. Um, I just wanted to give you guys just a gist of how to do it. So, um, but once again, it's doable. If you love decorating and doing all that stuff, you would fall in love with it. If not, I do apologize. But, you know, in the world that we're living in now, we have to just learn how to adapt and adjust and do what we have to do so that our kids can be motivated and, you know, make so you can make learn, learning fun for them. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. And also make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed just being able to learn how to do this virtual classroom. Thank you guys so much for your time. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.